and welcome back to Compton Farm. So, you join me in the John Deere as we are bailing up our grass, getting ready to throw it into some wrap, or throw some wrap around their bales actually. This is just our extra field here. This is the pig enclosure, or field, pen, whatever you want to call it. There will not be a lot coming off this because there was not a lot of growth on it, but anyways, yeah, we just uh, build up the other grass field there. I did not even look or count how many bales we got off of it. But quite a few. There is one bale that is a size smaller because I forgot to change the size as you probably saw right at the beginning of that. Yeah, there's one bale that's 5,500 liters and the rest are 7,500. I mean, actually, looking at this, it's actually fill it, filling up at a fairly decent rate. I mean, for what the field is. Whoa. So as you can maybe tell by the steering, I have my steering wheel and pedals hooked up again, which should hopefully make the driving a bit smoother. I uh, may make some wider corners because of the rotation. I think, well, I don't know if I plug my, if the steering wheel falls into the laptop, I can adjust the steering rotation at all. I'm not sure. I know you can on PC, but I don't know if it's going to transfer over if I adjust it on the PC and then move it back over to the PS4. Because I do not think you can change anything on the PS4 with it plugged in. I may be wrong. If you do know, please let me know because I would prefer to have uh, less degrees of rotation for driving because it just seems very slow. The uh, rotation speed. Maybe I can Google it too and see if I can find an uh, answer to that myself. But if you do know, please let me know in the comments. We'd love to hear about that. If it is possible. And well, I guess if it's not, then it just kind of clears the air if it can be done or not. But, yeah. So once we're done with this, we're going to clean up the size bales, or grass bales, get them off these fields. Unless we just wrap them in this pig enclosure. Leave them here to ferment. And then move them over to our uh, cow farm once they are ready to go. That might be the best idea. Because we want to get whoa, that grass field plowed up because it needs plowing just to get the better yield out of it. Going to plow it up and plant grass under this year before winter comes. Come on, a little bit further. Also, I think we are going to do a little bit more mowing in the secret field. If you watch Mr. C the P, you will know. Let's see what's flying up here. Turns out we own. Uh, if we come through this here where we came through before to get to our field over here. But if we cut through here, where he did, this is where Mr. P cut through, he cut down this tree and threw into the back here. This whole green space we own and have access to for field work. So I'm thinking we'll probably come in here and cut this because it's free grass. May as well. Um, I was thinking of, I had this idea of clearing this shelter belt here or a tree line and plowing this open so we have a bigger field. Field 28, I think, 23, this field here, our sunflower field. Plow these two together. So I'm thinking we'll take out a tree or some a tree or two in this corner, so we can sneak through unless there are non-removable bushes there. Oh, quick! 
camera quit jumping. Okay, so there's bushes here that I don't think we can remove. But there's after here there's none. So we'll probably move one one or two in here. Just so we can get through and mow in there. I think we might do that. Might be a good idea to get some more grass. I think we'll do it as silage because I think we have quite a few hay bales already. And if we do silage, if we have extra, we can sell it and it's worth more than hay. So I definitely prefer to have more extra silage on hand over extra hay. So rain is in the fork. Don't know when that's supposed to be coming. Hopefully not too soon. We would like to get these wrapped before the rain shows up. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It's not, it's not like uh, FS19 seasons where the bales will rot if you don't get them wrapped in time. It doesn't really have an effect on them, I don't think. I know if you harvest in the rain, I think you get a yield reduction by a lot. So I don't want to do that if at all possible. There's another one. It's actually a fair amount coming off here. I did not think we were going to get this many. Is it this in-game day or is it October when sunflowers are ready? I think it might be October. So next episode, yeah, next episode probably will be a sunflower harvest because I think we're gonna fill this episode with grass work in that secret field there, which is very secret because if you look on the map, on the mini map there, uh, we'll go here. It, oops, uh, this one here. You can see in the bottom corner there that uh, it is all trees on the map. So it's like they, Auction J really wanted to hide hide it from everyone. Just quite sneaky. So this has been recording uh, many days after the previous episode. I have, like I have said many times in the past, I really do not have time during the week to uh, record, edit, upload, stuff like that. I mainly have time on the weekends. So this is being recorded Friday night, the 11th is it? Yes, Friday, February 11th. So there was a video that came out today on No Man's Land. There will also be a one coming out tomorrow on No Man's Land. And possibly Sunday, Monday, we'll have Calm's Den. That's what I'm thinking as of right now. Whoa. Let's get in line here again. So, what should we use wrapper wise? Because we do not have one. We're going to need a buyer lease. Um, if we buy, that's going to be quite. It's going to be a little expensive, but we're most likely going to be using it in the future unless we start going to loose which we possibly will do so maybe it would be best off just to lease one I think we will go with just a trailed one that you drive up to the bales and wrap instead of the extractor where we bring the bales to it 
I'm using the extractor on no man's land, so we'll do something a little bit different here on Comzen. Don't want to be repeating bummy well, we're doing jobs here and there, but we like to change up the equipment possibly if we can. Spin around here, grab a little more grass around this corner. Yeah, we should have enough bits and pieces around to finish up this last bale. And then we will head on down to the store. We'll hop in the fence because we don't need a high horsepower tractor for the wrapper. So we'll take our least horsepower and go down there and grab one. There we go. We'll just finish this bale and then call her good. Because the rest of that will not fill to make another bale, so. Just drive through here. And we'll go bring this back to the yard. I'll see you down at the store. I'm gonna drop this baler and tractor, just leave them both at the cow farm. Yeah, and I'll see you down at the store in the fence. Grabbing ourselves a wrapper. Alright, there we are. So, oh, sorry, we have a whole bunch of fertilizer here that we need to get picked up. But before we do that, we need to do other jobs. So, let's take sales here. We have the olive harvester. Oh, sorry, I mentioned that in the previous episode that Dagoman would like that and loading wagons so nothing for us I'm gonna go bale wrappers we got a round bale so oh we're gonna have to go for the extractor here Because the Caverland only does up to 150 and we made 185s or 180s I mean and the uh, Coon also only does up to 150s in the round so we're gonna have to go for this guy all right then I was not wanting to do that I always tend to go for the black wrap. 1500 bucks to lease that. Okay, so we're gonna have to use our telehandler to move the bales around. And to load them. Not exactly what I was planning to do, but gonna have to do it. So let's head on down there. And I guess that I mean this way we only have to move them once, don't have to wrap them and then come and pick them up. So technically I guess this is a bit better. Not the way I wanted to do it, but anywho. Wanted to use the other ones. Should have looked first. But we didn't. So guess we'll deal with it. As we're driving back here, oh dear, let's pull over here actually for a second. Hop into the menu here, we'll check the weather, see what it's going to do. Once it saves, obviously. Weather here at noon. Uh, just a passing shower should be done around 1 o'clock. Good too much to worry about there. And we're gonna look at sunflowers, ready to harvest in October. So yeah, next month they should be ready to go. 
planting window for grass is through November, so we're good there. And right, we want to plant barley in the next episode as well, because we'll be into October. Get out of the way, deer. Whole bunch of deer in this area, wow. So anyways, now we've got the extractor wrapper here. We'll bring us back to the field, get it all set up. I will grab the telehandler and see where our bale spike is at and go to the field and get this started. So I will see you down there once we're all set up and ready to go. Okay, so got the wrapper all set up over there. And got the tail handler here with the bale spike. So just looking around here, actually I had quite a bit of grass lying around. We could have maybe possibly squeezed out another bale. But anyways, maybe next time we can grab that grass because it will not be rotting away. Anyways, let's get these all loaded up into here. Should be set up, ready to go. Yep, fix it. No problem. Why does this look offset in there? Maybe it's just my eyes deceiving me. Don't know. Anywho. So, I guess we'll, we'll count how many bales we have afterwards. Cause, I mean, I guess we could just go look at the stats page, but... Why would we do that? Or we can count as we go. So this is two now. So we got uh, one, two, three, four more in this field, looks like. Oh, five. So seven bales off this field, that's not even too bad. For a field that's been really trampled down looks like that's pretty good so anyways let's take this on a time lapse here we'll get the rest of these all thrown into the wrapper and see what, how long of a sausage we can make don't know why I keep calling it a sausage but anyways Definitely had a much better yield on this field than the last one here. That were the first one we cleared, much better yield than the second one. I mean, it's not a surprise because the grass just looked healthier on this one than on that one. Been on here for a while, definitely a lot. I mean, it is a bigger field as well, but still. 
I tried rolling this guy back, but he just didn't want to roll. So, drive out there and get him again. So, we've got this one up here yet, and then that other one on the bottom row there is a smaller one. So, we'll wrap that one separately because it does not like wrapping two different size bales in the stack. They found out on no man's land. <clears throat> Which I really don't see why it's a problem, but it is apparently. Uh oh. Okay, grab that last little guy. We'll wrap this guy and bring it straight back to the farm with us. And I was doing a little bit of thinking and I think, I know we have the wrapper at least now, but I think we are going to mow that secret field, roll it all up and lease ourselves a loading wagon and do that field loose and carry it back and put it into our silage clamp down at the cow farm there. Just for another little thing that's a little bit different. to drive. That's interesting. It's like seeming like it's having an issue that the uh, ones in FS19 always had. Like they would always want to hook the ground and not drive and corner properly. why that is. I haven't had no issues with the uh, other one. Yes, yeah, so it just stops. Oh well. Okay, I will get this all cleaned up and I will see you down at our going to be new entrance into our secret field there. Once we get this all, there we go. Whoops. Come back here. Yeah, so this is going to take a few days to ferment. And yeah. Then we can use them once they're done, obviously. So, yeah. Oh, shoot. So that was coming as soon as I hit that bump. Should have known there would have been a bit of a dip by a gate there. So, anyways, I will see you. In a little while, probably just after noon, after 12 o'clock. All right, all done over there, and we are back over at our sunflower field where we're going to be making our cut through right over here. So, as you can tell, yeah, we are just after 12 o'clock, and the rain has arrived. Which is a little unfortunate, but nevertheless, we're gonna get her done. I mean, technically, we can just drive through here, but we shouldn't do because I wish we could get rid of those bushes. I really don't think we can in the landscaping tool either. Uh, let's go painting. Uh, is that? No, it doesn't bleed those. Jeez. Wish we could. Let's turn this engine off here, actually. Okay. 
So when I come in here, we're going to need to get ourselves a stump grinder yet. There's not a lot here, actually. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get some of this cleaned up. Don't know how well it's actually going to work going through here with a uh, plow eventually. If it's going to be sensing these trees, because these trees are sunk below the below the ground level, so don't know exactly how they're going to air. quiet there I was just concentrating on what I was doing but yeah so that's got a nice start cut in here see if we can grab this one there's a branch here hmm. interesting here I'm thinking we should have a nice path through here yeah so 1.7 tons whoa all right I'm not expecting it to be that heavy <laughs> get these cleaned up a little bit. Well, let's grab a tail handler, see if we can push them in and see if we can actually get through here. I did grab the log, or at least a log fork. I'm not, I was not a big fan of this particular one in 19. We'll see if they have reworked the... Uh... Oh, excuse me. <coughs> That's physics of it. Always like the double prong on top better. very well. Not very well at all. Might need to get the print off in here to do some tree deleting on the road. What am I driving? What am I hitting? What in the world? <coughs> Excuse me.
trying to make a path through. See if we can get these out of the way yet. Wow, that's a uh, bit of a branch here yet. Okay, there we go. That cleared that one up nicely. That's a bit better. Okay, let's see here now. What are these? They have the texture of a tree. I do not think the landscaping here will get rid of those either. Uh, let's go painting. Grass. There it is. Bigger and round. No. Shoot. No. Nothing doing there. Um. Thinking. This one you can see the brick out. Hmm. Can't find nothing to cut off here. Oh, there's something. Oh, okay, there's a big block there, okay. Six hundred and thirty six kilograms. Really? For that little guy, wherever it is. Wow, that's a heavy log. What is there? That is, um, Um, interesting. Do you guys see anything else here? I don't get that. Kind of confusing. Anywho, oh come on! That is quite annoying. So I'm thinking uh, it's looking more and more likely that our plan is just falling apart for plowing this open between these two fields. Um, let's take a look here. If we get, uh, do do. Where would it be? Forestry. Pretty enough. I was talking about here. Yeah, but we put. I used it a little bit, just playing around with it on no man's land. Not on the let's play I'm doing, but 
just on my own. This guy worked pretty decently for removing some tree stumps and trees, full trees even. You might lease that. How much is it to lease that? Two grand. Yeah, we may do that in the future. See if we can cut our way through his bush. But for now, we're going to speed up some time here and see if we can get to some drier weather so we can get this mowed. As we're waiting, let's turn the speed of time up a bit here. Times 10. We're going to go take a look on our worker. Yes, we have a worker hired right now. Planting canola for this contract. How far is he along? We're over here in field 18, I do believe. Yep. Planting is going well, looks like. Got this corner due yet. It's gonna run out of seed. We have this contract as well accepted. So that should be coming up shortly too. You probably won't see much of that either. The one we're working on right now is worth 39 grand and the other one's worth 15, so I should bring a good chunk of change. Excuse me, into the bank account. So I will see you back onto our field there with the John Deere, getting ready to mow once the rain has cleared. Before going back to the field, I figured, well, I saw it was auto stack there. We'll go here and grab all of our hay bales and get them put away. No point in having them sitting out on the field longer than they need to. Not quite sure where we're gonna store them yet. I know I put the one silage bale into the cow shed or barn uh, in their in the barn there where you feed them, but there won't be a room in there for all of our bales and stuff. So I need to think of a ooh, excuse me a new place or another place there would be enough room inside there for all of the silage but not all the hay as well oh, two more here Whoop. swing around the gate Okay. All right. That one's a different size. Shoot. Okay. Well, we'll leave that guy right there. Then we'll eventually come in and grab that with a tail handler. Yet. Just quickly slither through here. Good, it looks like the rain's clearing up. Shouldn't be too long now. Just wondering now, where should we put them? Don't really want to store them outside. 
but we may have to. There's not an awful lot of storage here. So let's take a look here. Whoa, gate's closed, right? Yeah, so you put the silage bale in here. Oops, don't need a chainsaw. Wait a minute, let me listen to that again. It almost sounds like an echo. Hmm, let me turn the volume up a bit here for me. It does sound like it. You guys can hear that. But yeah, it definitely sounds like it echoes more when you come inside. Um, let's see here. Where should we stack these? Maybe there. Yeah, that might be the best. It's a little bit in the way, but whoa, let's get that nice and even here. Whoa, come on, not too much over. Oh, shoot, come on. Let's go. Apparently we're hooking something. So we'll see how far back we can get these. Should be a decent lay. Oh yeah, it's pushing them right back there now. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, now I will see you over at the secret field. Getting ready to mow it. Change of plans again, I know, right? <laughs> All right, so rain has just stopped. Well, it was slowing down for a little while, but it is now completely done. So we're gonna get these all fired up and get to mowing. We're gonna do this all as whoops, silage. So we'll have it all in swath dropping. So we don't have to come back and windrow it all. Let's turn some lights on here. After all, it is 2.15 to 16 in the afternoon. It's getting quite dark. <laughs> no, it's just these shadows. I guess it could go a bit closer there. Get as much as we can off of it. Without being too drastic in our weaving into here. So yeah, all the credit goes to Mr. Seedley and his viewers for mentioning this, finding this, and letting him know, and me watching his video, and I know, hey, there's an idea. Apparently, well, he mentioned that some of, some people have actually built their whole farm back here in this area. What's that? Let's take a look here. I was thinking like, oh, there's an open area here. Do we own this here too? Uh, let's take a look. Um, this area here. Uh, we do, so technically we can mow back here as well, which I think we may just do. Interesting. So is there any better way to get into this field here? 
So we're up here. It's all fairly closed off. So here's the other end of our field. Um, yeah, that's a way better way to get in here. Shoot, should have seen that before. Anywho, <laughs> next time, maybe we'll make an entrance there. But anyways, let's continue mowing. Get this field all done. We'll probably just finish this episode off with the mowing. And I'll possibly do the, oh no, we definitely want to do the loading on screen, so that'll be next episode. Oh man, why is this tractor struggling so much? This uphill here? Hmm. Must be. There we go. Okay, so we'll have a quick time lapse here to finish off this episode, and I will see you in a little bit. came back here to mow this back a little area and it turns out there's not a lot back here and it's very hilly so we most likely will not mow this ever again in here because it's a bit of a nuisance to get around in you gonna fit between those two no, we're not. Come on, squeak. Come on, you're almost through. There we go. That would be very hard on the mower, so I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just tie this little piece up here. And we'll be out of here. And our dog is here. Or the town dog, because that dog goes absolutely everywhere. Hey, buddy. Oh, sorry, man. Well, it's a good thing we can't kill him. Oh, he jumped over. Good for him. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get a bit of grass out of here. Every little bit helps top up our pit a little, just a little bit more. So, yeah. 
late fall mowing. I don't know, the last two episodes have been probably pretty close to the same thing. Going from making hay and now just silage to all grass work. I know next episode will be a little bit of grass work as well. But hopefully we can move on to doing our sunflowers. So hopefully it will not be all the same thing. <laughs> but anyways. So that's going to do it for this episode. All done mowing here. There's a little bit, bits and pieces of grass in places. But we're going to call that good in here. And we're going to head on back, park this up, and I will see you in the next one. We're going to clean all this up. We're going to get lease ourselves a loading wagon. And that's... Oh, there was one in the sale, wasn't there? Ooh. Uh, it's a little on the small side. Twenty-three meters cubed. How does that compare to some other ones? That's this guy. I mean, it's quite a small one, so if we go for this guy, maybe the. With the silage additive tank, if you want to lease that, it's six grand. So, yeah, we'll possibly do that in the next episode. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Later.